Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to look through the AppSite log that we created earlier. So double click on the Launch AppSite System icon and wait for it to fire up. Okay, so the first things we're going to find the log. So we uh, open up the AppSite log we created earlier. Uh, we pick that one there and we'll watch it all render up. So the screen is uh, broken up into four sections. So the first section is uh, top uh, left is the name of the log and the date that it was created. On the right hand side uh, at the top is a visual log. So here you'll be able to see screenshots of what the user's done. Down the bottom left is the filter. So if you don't want to see uh, a very deep uh, log uh, operations section, you'd filter it up otherwise um, the log operations uh, is on the bottom right. So the first things we'll do, we'll uh, show you the different, uh, different perspectives. So we've got a performance perspective. So here is where you can have a look at uh, how much memory and how much CPU you've gone through on the front end uh, during um, the recording. So this is the, the database calls that we've done. So this one at the top we've done two calls. So we're looking for uh, R system B name here. So general. So if we sort it by duration, so you can see the uh, the I class factory pointer is what's taking most of the time here. So towards the middle, you can have a look at the performance timeline. So you can uh, flick left and flick right to find uh, the things that you're interested in. So I'm going to I'm going to go after the com here. So if I double click on that, it'll take me to the line in the log of what's going on. So I've got a couple of errors there in the red, something wrong with the registry. I've used a bit of uh, CPU memory. So they're the, they're the two, two lines in, uh, in question. If I right click them and I want to have a look at the code of what's happening right here. Wait for the GUI to render up and you'll see the lines of code here. So if we have a look at the stack. There was a couple of alerts going through the log. Now are the uh, exceptions. They're the messages. And if we have a look at the stats, we could actually have a look at the most expensive um, line of code here uh, by duration or, or by percentage. So that's, that's the lines of code. If I get rid of this, now I'll show you uh, the recording. So again, the, the, other, the other perspectives, you've got a web perspective and a user actions perspective. So we go into the user actions and that'll allow me to show you um, uh, the visual of what the user saw. So that's the recording, we can go back and forward. So here I'll play the visual log and we'll see what the user saw. So for reproducing an error, I think it's one of, one of the better ways rather than getting a transcript over, over a telephone. So here we record it all the way to the start. Uh, we press play and you'll see it the same as what the user saw it uh, but you'll get the benefit of the log as well so you'll see every time they move the mouse what they type into the screen so here we watch the user log in and you can see down the bottom uh, what, what the user is actually uh, doing and then the log behind it so the other things you can have a look so the perspectives we've had a look at and then I'll just show you on the view with a visual log to go forward and back and you can do that for a web page as well should you have recorded a web page 